Well, it's been a little chilly out there lately. Uh, not really what I expected when I moved to California. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is January here. Yes. And our temperatures, in fact, they average this time of year for highs in the mid-50s. So seeing temperatures that uh, rise above 60, it's kind of a treat for this time of year. Yeah, we should be happy with, with what we can get, right? We, we should be happy with what we can get. That's <laughs> true with the rain that came early this morning, yeah. too. We're going to take a look through our Valley Cam Network. It's powered by Master Storage 365. This is at Avenue 13 and Highway 99. It is the Master Storage 365 camera in Madeira, which got one, no, Madeira got one one-hundredth of an inch, and uh, up in Merced, five one-hundredths of an inch. So that's about as little as you can get to say thank you for as far as the rain goes. Right now, the view in Vicelli from the Korea Delta camera is looking good. And temperatures still on the warm side for this time of night. 49 in Vicelli, 51 in Fresno and Hanford, and 48 right now in Madeira. Today, other temperatures through the area included 64 in Fresno, Merced, Vicelli at 65, and even close to 50 degrees today for a high in Yosemite. To show you what we average, 57. So 64 is quite a bit different, and 39 degrees for that average overnight low. 50 early this morning. Huge difference here. Air quality outside right now is good for the most part. We are looking at moderate conditions from Visalia on south through Porterville along the 99. Expected to be moderate tomorrow with the San Joaquin Valley Air Pollution Control District limiting wood burning to registered devices only in Madera, Fresno, and Kings Counties. Satellite and radar now showing the last 24 hours how that very weak brush with some showers moved through early today, not leaving very much behind. Over the next few days, we're going to remain dry for the most part. You do see midweek one system approach us getting fairly close, but not quite over central California. And then later through the weekend, next weekend, we get closer and closer, or I should say that system gets closer and closer to us, bringing in potential for uh, some showers, perhaps Monday on Tuesday of next week. 9.9 .9, uh, megawatt hours, 9.9 thousand megawatt hours yesterday from your renewable solar, solar forecast, eight and a half today, 10 tomorrow. So that brings those one to 10 index ratings to 9.7 today and 10 for tomorrow. 42 degrees for overnight tonight here in Fresno, 41 in Madera. Highs tomorrow from 61 in Fresno to 60 in Madera, Oakhurst, Shaver at 50 and 54 for a high temperature tomorrow afternoon in Yosemite. Here's what we're looking at as far as fog. Not expected to develop much tomorrow because this last system that came through with those light showers and breezy conditions at times, that's keeping things mixed up enough to stop the fog from forming all that much. However, going into the day after tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning especially, I'm thinking we're probably going to see some uh, dense fog, at least in a few areas, and that potential lasts through the rest of the week. But I think the foggiest days or the best chance for fog coming early Tuesday and then again Wednesday. But warm temperatures to round off the rest of the week and weekend ahead. Highs of 66, nearly 10 degrees above the average. Yeah, a little to look forward to then. It is. All right, thanks, Justin. Well, it was a very sad day in the world of sports as we lost a basketball legend. Scott Bemis joins us now with a preview of what's coming up. Yes, Sean, a reaction been pouring in today to the tragic death of Kobe Bryant. On the way, we'll get some in-studio